Did you know that the way you drink water could be affecting your health more than you imagine? In this video, we will explore how small adjustments in your hydration routine can make a huge difference in your well-being. Get ready to learn practical and surprising lessons that can improve your energy, concentration, digestive health, and much more. But before we go into details, I want you to pay attention to a story that holds a powerful lesson. In a remote mountain far from the hustle and bustle of the world lived a wise hermit known for his impressive longevity and vitality. His life was a reflection of balance and much of his health came from a simple secret that he mastered, the correct way to drink water. From this encounter, we will unveil the secrets of this ancient practice and understand how proper hydration can transform your health in ways you never imagined. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any valuable content. Let's transform this phase into an experience full of meaning and growth together. The seven day challenge, transform your health. The wise man in his quiet and compassionate wisdom proposed to the young man a seemingly simple but profoundly transformative challenge to drink water correctly for seven days. It's not just about ingesting water out of habit, but about creating a conscious connection with each sip. He teaches that upon waking up, a glass of warm water should be the first act of the day as a sign of respect for the body. This simple act is capable of activating the digestive system and increasing energy. It seems small, but the impact is huge, improving metabolism and promoting a healthy balance from the first day. During this period, the young man was encouraged to observe something that many ignore, the color of his urine. The ancient wisdom the sage shares is clear. Proper hydration is stamped in the urine. If it's clear, the body is grateful. It's functioning in harmony. If it's dark, it's a clear sign that something is lacking. Small adjustments like these, made over the seven days, can transform everything from the skin to mental clarity. The constancy of listening to one's own body is key to reaping the benefits of water. The discipline throughout the challenge goes beyond drinking water out of obligation. It is an exercise in mindfulness where each sip brings the practitioner to the present moment. The sage, always observant, highlights that the practice of taking small sips and pausing is crucial for improving digestion and keeping the metabolism in full swing. By adopting this practice, the young man not only improves his hydration, but also learns to listen more attentively to his body's needs. An important point of the challenge is the visible impact on the skin. By the end of the third day, the young man notices something surprising. His skin appears healthier, with a natural glow that he hadn't seen for a long time. This happens because the correct water, in the right temperature and quantity, acts as a true elixir for cellular health. Internal hydration reflects externally, and the body responds with vigor. The skin is not the only beneficiary mental clarity and concentration also strengthened throughout the process. Following the challenge is not just about improving digestion or increasing energy, but about transforming the way the young man views something as routine as drinking water. By adopting this practice consistently, he notices that his energy level and disposition increase considerably, as does his ability to maintain focus throughout the day. This is the secret that few realize, the way we drink water can be the difference in living with more balance and health. Gradually, the seven-day journey reveals something even deeper, the true power of consistency. The young man begins to notice that by following the sage's plan, the body responds more efficiently. What started as a simple challenge transforms into a powerful tool for self-awareness and self-care. This daily connection with water is the first step to transforming not just physical health, but also mental well-being. And this is just the first lesson. The sage still has much more to share about the secrets of water. The power of temperature, warm water versus cold water. The sage, always attentive to the subtle details of nature, shares a little known truth. The temperature of the water we drink is as important as its quantity. 
He explains that warm water or room temperature water is a true ally of the digestive system. When ingested, it integrates smoothly with the body, facilitating the digestion process and improving blood flow. Thus, each sip becomes a way to nourish the organism, bringing benefits that go beyond simple hydration. Cold water, on the other hand, is seen by the sage as a discreet adversary of the digestive system. He mentions that although drinking cold water can be refreshing on hot days, it extinguishes the digestive fire forcing the body to spend energy, warming it to a temperature that the stomach can process. Imagine that instead of using that energy to promote good digestion, the body uses it to balance the internal temperature. It's no wonder that many people feel discomfort or bloating after consuming cold water during meals. The sage's recommendation is clear. Make warm water your daily choice. It not only promotes stomach health, but also helps detoxify the body, allowing the metabolism to function more efficiently. Those suffering from slow digestion, acidity, or even stomach pains may experience noticeable improvement by making this simple change. And for those who engage in physical exercise, consuming warm water can facilitate the body's recovery, accelerating the rehydration process without overloading the digestive system. The sage also brings up a practical example of when cold water can be beneficial on extremely hot days after intense physical activities. In these cases, cold water provides quick relief from the heat and helps lower body temperature. However, he reinforces that this should be the exception, not the rule. To maintain balance and health, it's important to be conscious of when and how to consume each type of water. This makes all the difference in the long run. The impact of a choice as simple as the temperature of the water extends beyond the physical body. The sage observes that the mind also benefits from this practice. Warm water, as it moves slowly through the body, promotes a state of calm and relaxation, helping to reduce stress and increase mental clarity. After all, the body and mind are deeply connected, and by taking care of one, we are inevitably taking care of the other. This conscious choice thus becomes an act of mindfulness. As he listens to these guidelines, the young man realizes that the way he consumes water will never be the same again. He understands that small changes, such as preferring warm water throughout the day, can have a significant impact on his health and overall well-being. This ancestral wisdom brings a new perspective on something so common in his routine. But as the sage shares more secrets, the young man begins to wonder, are there other hidden dangers when it comes to drinking water? The hidden dangers, when water becomes the enemy. The sage, with his accumulated experience over the years, alerts to a fact that many ignore. Not all water is beneficial. Although hydration is vital for health, there is a dark side that few know. He explains that water can become an enemy when consumed incorrectly, or when its quality is compromised. Contaminated water, for example, can contain harmful microorganisms that silently damage the body, causing everything from minor discomforts to serious diseases. Therefore, it's crucial to know the origin of the water we consume and ensure that it is pure. In addition, the sage points out a common mistake, confusing liquids with hydration. Beverages like sodas and alcohol, although containing water, actually dehydrate the body. They act as diuretics, causing the body to lose more water than it actually retains. Drinking soda or beer on hot days may seem like a refreshing choice, but over time, this habit contributes to chronic dehydration. The sage suggests that instead, opting for pure, high-quality water is the key to effective hydration and to preserving internal balance. Another hidden danger that the sage highlights is hyponatremia, a little-known but dangerous condition that can occur when consuming excessive water in a short period of time. He explains that by flooding the body with large amounts of water, the sodium levels in the blood can drop drastically, causing symptoms such as dizziness, mental confusion, and in extreme cases, even coma. This is an important alert, especially for those who engage in intense physical activities 
and believe that drinking a lot of water quickly is always beneficial. Balance, as always, is the key. To avoid these dangers, the sage teaches that it's necessary to develop a conscious relationship with water. This means being attentive not only to the quantity, but also to the quality and the moment of consumption. He recommends investing in good quality filters or consuming reliable mineral water to ensure that what we are ingesting is truly safe. Additionally, he encourages reading the labels of beverages like industrially produced juices, which often contain more sugar than water. Small changes in daily choices can make a huge difference. The sage also reminds us that water is a powerful detox tool provided it is consumed correctly. When ingested in a balanced way, it helps the body eliminate toxins, improve digestion, and increase energy naturally. However, irresponsible consumption can produce the opposite effect, overloading the kidneys and impairing metabolism. Therefore, the key is always moderation. By understanding the dangers and nuances involved, the young man begins to see water under a new perspective, learning that even something as essential can be a double-edged sword. With this newfound awareness, the young man now wonders how he should drink water properly. The sage, perceiving his doubt, smiles and prepares to reveal the secrets of the correct consumption technique, which not only prevents problems, but also enhances the benefits. The correct technique, how to drink water, the sage, always detailed in his teachings, emphasizes the importance of how to drink water. He teaches that drinking large amounts at once is not ideal. The wise body, by itself, cannot adequately absorb large volumes of water ingested quickly. The sage advises drinking slowly, in small sips, allowing the body to utilize each drop in the most efficient way possible. This improves digestion and allows the system to hydrate constantly and gradually without overloading the kidneys or stomach. He illustrates this lesson with a practical example. Imagine drinking a liter of water all at once after a run. The body, which is heated and thirsty, will not be able to process all of it efficiently. Instead of absorbing, much of that water will be eliminated quickly without providing the necessary benefits. On the other hand, by drinking in small sips, the water is absorbed effectively, hydrating not only the muscles, but also the brain, promoting mental clarity and concentration. This simple technique transforms the act of drinking water into something powerful. Another crucial point that the sage highlights is the posture when drinking water. Sitting correctly while drinking, breathing calmly between sips, helps the body assimilate the water even more efficiently. He explains that just like food, water needs to be digested and the correct posture aids in this process. Often by drinking water quickly and standing up, we are not only disrespecting the body, but also depriving ourselves of the true benefits that water can offer to the digestive system. Even in situations of intense thirst, such as after physical exercise or on days of extreme heat, the sage recommends patience. He suggests that instead of drinking water frantically, one should give small intervals between sips, allowing the body to adjust to rehydration. This process helps avoid problems such as bloating or abdominal discomfort, which are common when large amounts of water are ingested uncontrollably. This technique, in addition to improving digestion, brings more energy and balance to daily life. The sage also reinforces the importance of transforming the act of drinking water into a ritual. He suggests that instead of treating water as something trivial, we can make it a moment of self-care. With each sip, it is possible to practice mindfulness, paying attention to the sensation of the water in the body, its taste, its temperature. Thus the young man begins to realize that the way he drinks water can influence both the body and the mind, promoting relaxation and a state of full presence. The body then aligns with the mind, generating more well-being and flexibility. With this new understanding, the young man begins to apply the techniques taught by the sage and notices that the change is immediate. 
Feeling more energized and with better digestion, he begins to wonder about the next secret that the sage could share. After all, when is the best time to drink water throughout the day? The wisdom of the right moment, when to drink water. The sage, always attentive to the natural cycles of the body, reveals that the moment when water is drunk can be as important as the quantity or the technique. He explains that the first action upon waking should be to drink a glass of water, preferably warm. This simple gesture helps to awaken the digestive system, cleansing the body of toxins accumulated during the night. It's not just a matter of hydration, but of preparing the body to function at full capacity from the early hours of the day. The young man, upon applying this advice, soon notices the difference in his morning energy. The sage recommends that water should be drunk before meals, but never immediately afterward. He explains that having a glass of water about 15 minutes before eating prepares the digestive system to receive food, activating gastric juices and facilitating digestion. On the other hand, drinking immediately after meals can dilute these juices, impairing the digestive process and causing discomforts such as bloating or heartburn. This simple yet powerful tip transforms the way the young man eats, promoting smoother and more effective digestion. As the day progresses, the sage advises the young man to pay attention to the body's signals. He emphasizes that drinking water in small intervals throughout the day helps maintain balance without overloading the system. Drinking a lot of water all at once is not only inefficient, but can cause the body to eliminate the liquid before it is properly absorbed. Hydration should be a constant and harmonious process where each sip nourishes the body and promotes concentration and mental clarity. This practice, the sage affirms, also helps control appetite, reducing unnecessary eating impulses. The sage also brings to light the importance of avoiding large amounts of water at night. Although hydration is essential, Drinking too much water before bed can cause interruptions in sleep, forcing the body to get up to urinate during the night. He suggests that the last glass of water should be taken at least an hour before lying down to ensure a more peaceful and restorative sleep. Continuous and quality sleep is essential for the body to rest and regenerate, ensuring a clear mind and renewed energy upon waking each moment of the day has its specific function when it comes to drinking water. The sage teaches that balance and constancy are essential for achieving full health. He suggests that the young man take a small break during work or studies to drink water consciously, as a way to restore focus and revitalize the body. By incorporating this habit into his daily routine, the young man realizes that his level of concentration and productivity increase, in addition to feeling more energized and motivated to continue with his tasks. With this new perception of the ideal moments to consume water, the young man begins to practice the discipline recommended by the sage, adjusting his consumption throughout the day. He now wonders about the ideal amount of water he should drink, since the sage mentioned that this measure varies from person to person. What is the true secret behind the correct amount? The correct amount, how much water should we drink? The sage, with his calmness and clarity, begins by dispelling a popular myth. The idea that everyone should drink eight glasses of water a day. He explains that this is a dangerous generalization because each body has its own needs. Factors such as weight, climate, level of physical activity, and even diet influence the ideal amount of water each person should consume. The sage teaches that there is no single formula for everyone, and the secret lies in listening to the body attentively. True wisdom lies in adapting water consumption to individual needs. To help the young man better understand his body, the sage offers a practical tip, observing the color of the urine. He teaches that the urine should be a light yellow, indicating that the body is adequately hydrated. If the urine is dark, it's a clear sign that the body needs more water. On the other hand, very transparent urine may indicate excessive consumption, 
which dilutes the electrolytes in the body and can lead to fatigue and other problems. This simple daily observation becomes a powerful tool for intuitively and effectively adjusting hydration. The amount of water a person should drink can also change according to the day's activities. If the young man engages in intense exercises, the body loses more water through sweat and needs adequate replenishment. In this case, the sage recommends drinking water gradually throughout the physical activity rather than consuming large amounts all at once. This not only helps maintain energy levels and concentration, but also avoids problems such as cramps and dehydration. The secret, once again, lies in constancy and observing what the body requests. Another point the sage highlights is the influence of diet on hydration. He explains that water-rich foods like fruits and vegetables significantly contribute to the body's hydration level. Therefore, on days when more of these foods are consumed, it may not be necessary to drink as much water. Similarly, a diet high in sodium or processed foods requires a higher water intake to maintain body balance. This flexibility in the amount of water is essential for keeping the system in harmony without excesses or deficiencies. The sage also mentions that drinking too much water can be as harmful as dehydration. Excessive water intake can lead to hyponatremia, a dangerous condition in which the sodium levels in the blood become diluted, causing symptoms such as tiredness, mental confusion, and even seizures. He teaches that like everything in life, moderation is key. The body is a master at signaling its needs, and it's up to each person to learn to listen to it attentively and respectfully. The young man, reflecting on these lessons, realizes that it's not just the quantity of water that matters, but also the quality of the relationship with his own body. With this knowledge, he prepares to learn more about the incredible benefits that water can offer beyond simple hydration. The sage, with a look of wisdom, is ready to reveal the secrets of water as a true medicine for the body and mind. Water as medicine, surprising benefits. The sage, with a serene look and precise words, reveals to the young man that water, often underestimated, is actually a powerful natural medicine. He explains that water has the power to relieve headaches, often caused by mild dehydration. Just drinking a glass of water can make the pain disappear in many cases without the need for medication. This simple yet effective effect is a reminder that the human body is mostly made of water and even slight dehydration can negatively affect the mind and body. In addition, the sage highlights how water plays a vital role in digestion. He explains that staying hydrated helps the digestive system function properly, preventing problems such as constipation and promoting the smooth operation of the intestines. For those who wish to improve their digestion, the sage suggests drinking water regularly throughout the day, but with special care not to drink large amounts immediately before or after meals. This practice allows gastric juices to do their work efficiently without being diluted. Another surprising benefit of water is its role in detoxifying the body. The sage teaches that by drinking the right amount of water, the kidneys can function properly, filtering toxins and eliminating them through urine. He mentions that waking up and drinking a glass of water helps activate the body's natural detoxification system, cleaning out the waste that accumulates overnight. This process not only improves the functioning of internal organs, but also reflects externally, promoting healthy, glowing skin. The sage also talks about the importance of water for focus and concentration. He explains that the brain is made up of about 75% water, and slight dehydration can negatively affect mental clarity. Many of the lapses in concentration and feelings of fatigue that people experience throughout the day can be resolved with something as simple as drinking water. For those who work long hours or study for extended periods, the sage recommends always having a glass of water nearby, ensuring that the mind remains sharp and productive. Beyond the physical and mental benefits, the sage teaches that water can also be an ally in weight loss, 
Drinking a glass of water before meals can help control appetite, providing a sense of fullness that prevents excessive food consumption. This simple habit, maintained over time, can contribute significantly to healthy and sustainable weight loss. Water, therefore, not only nourishes the body, but also helps maintain a balanced metabolism and a more conscious relationship with food. The young man, now with a deeper understanding of the role of water in health, realizes that it is more than a basic necessity. It is a true natural remedy. He is eager to apply all these lessons and continue exploring the mysteries of water, especially as he encounters the last and most important lesson from the sage, the philosophy of being like water. Final lesson from the sage, be like water. With a tone of serenity, the sage shares his deepest lesson, one that transcends the physical and touches the spirit. Be like water. He explains to the young man that water has a wisdom that goes beyond its utility for the body. Water adapts to any situation, whether flowing gently in a stream or overcoming the obstacles of rocks in a river. It does not try to win by force, but by persistence. This philosophy is a powerful metaphor for life. Instead of fighting against difficulties, we should learn to adapt, to flow with the circumstances like water contouring a stone. The sage points out that just as water wears down the rock over time, we too can overcome life's toughest challenges with patience and constancy. He mentions that people often try to resist difficulties, but true wisdom lies in learning to flow through them. Instead of wearing ourselves out with resistance, we should find ways to adjust, to mold ourselves to the environment, just like water that finds a path even in the most inhospitable terrains. This teaching brings the young man a new perspective on how to handle daily obstacles. To exemplify this idea, the sage speaks of great masters and leaders who throughout history have applied this philosophy in their lives. He mentions that many of those who achieved success or inner peace did so not by force or direct struggle, but by adaptation and resilience. Just like water, they knew how to contour challenges with wisdom, flexibility and patience. The young man hearing these words begins to reflect on his own struggles and realizes that perhaps resisting so much to problems is not the solution. Learning to be flexible may indeed be the key. Water also teaches us the importance of being malleable, of not being rigid in our thoughts and behaviors. The sage points out that people are often stubborn and resist changes when, in fact, evolution only happens when we allow ourselves to change. He talks about how water takes the shape of the container it is placed in without losing its essence. This teaches us that we can adapt to new situations while maintaining our identity without losing ourselves in the process. This lesson offers the young man a new perspective on what it means to be truly resilient. The sage concludes this lesson by saying that, like water, we should find balance. Water can be gentle, as in a calm river, but it can also be powerful and transformative as in the waves of the sea, this duality reflects life, where moments of calm and moments of action are equally important. He encourages the young man to be flexible when necessary, but also to know when to use his strength to overcome obstacles, always with the wisdom of knowing when and how to act. This balance between gentleness and firmness is what defines true wisdom, as the young man internalizes this lesson, he feels a profound transformation in his way of seeing life. He realizes that, like water, he can adapt, persist, and eventually achieve his goals without forcing things. And as he embraces this philosophy, he begins to understand that water not only nourishes the body, but also the mind and spirit. Now, the young man prepares for the last reflection from the sage, which will lead him to see water as a path to a life of wisdom and awareness. Water and life, a path of wisdom and awareness. In his final lesson, the sage concludes with a profound reflection on the role of water in our life. He explains to the young man that drinking water is not just a physical act, but also a practice of mindfulness. 
When we drink water consciously, we are actually practicing a reconnection with our body, listening to its signals and attending to its most fundamental needs. Each sip becomes an opportunity to slow down, to be present in the moment, and to care for ourselves in a simple yet profoundly effective way. Water, as it flows through our body, nourishes not only the organs but also the spirit. The sage encourages the young man to apply the practice of mindfulness during the seven-day challenge, noticing the sensations that water provokes in his body and mind. With each glass of water ingested, it is possible to feel the positive impact not just on physical health, but also on emotional state. The practice of mindfulness in hydration is an exercise in self-compassion, recognizing our most basic needs and responding to them with care and kindness. This also teaches us the importance of pausing amidst the hustle and bustle of everyday life to nourish our well-being, even if just for a few minutes. Throughout the challenge, the young man begins to understand that small changes, like drinking water correctly, can bring significant transformations in his lifestyle. He discovers that hydration is not just a necessity, but a daily opportunity to reflect on his relationship with his own body. By incorporating this care, he feels more energized, clearer mentally, and even more emotionally balanced. Water becomes a symbol of renewal, both physical and spiritual, and the practice of drinking water consciously connects him to a greater wisdom. The sage also reminds us that water is the mirror of life. It is always flowing, always in motion, and teaches us to follow the same path. When we face challenges, we can choose to fight against them or, like water, find alternative paths and move forward. Just like water never stops, we should not stagnate, but instead adapt to life's changes and challenges, always seeking balance and harmony. This philosophy of life, when applied daily, transforms the way we see and face our obstacles. The young man, throughout the seven days of the challenge, realizes that true transformation comes not only from changing the way he drinks water, but from changing his perspective on life. He understands that like water, life flows better when we adapt, when we find the balance between action and patience. Water, which he once saw only as a basic necessity, now becomes a silent teacher, teaching him about flexibility, constancy, and care for the body and mind. This seven-day journey is just the beginning of a much deeper path of self-knowledge and wisdom. With this new vision, the young man concludes the challenge but realizes that the learning is just beginning. The sage, with a look of approval, knows that he now has the tools to continue his journey of health and awareness. And water, which was his guide during these days, will continue to be his faithful companion throughout life. So why not start today and put into practice what you've learned? Why not start the seven-day challenge and see with your own eyes the changes in your body and mind? Don't wait any longer to transform your life. And of course, if you want to continue learning more about how to improve your health with simple and effective tips, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. That way, you won't miss any content that can make all the difference in your well-being. Let's go on this journey together for a healthier and more balanced life.